What's up, guys? CT here, and this is my Carolina Panthers Detroit Lions Week Two preview. Uh, both teams one and zero coming into this game in uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, the Lions uh, looked really impressive uh, last night against the uh, Giants. Didn't get a chance to watch the game. I wish I would have. I wasn't at home, so I didn't catch it. But, uh, you know, I saw the score, and, you know, they blew them out. I don't think the Giants are a good team at all. I didn't think that, you know, before yesterday. I, I really didn't think the Giants had much chance to win that game. And, uh, you know, Cam comes back for this game, my main man, Camo, and uh, that's always a good thing. And let me, oh, yeah, I forgot to say this in my, uh, my Bucks recap yesterday. For, I was on Facebook uh, before the uh, the Bucks game uh, on Sunday, and man, let me tell you something, man. The Panthers, I love Panther Nation. Uh, I'm a proud member, have been for a while, will be till uh, the day that I die. But man, we got some stupid ass fans, and I think every uh, fan base does of any team of any sport. There's some stupid fans because they're stupid people in this in this world I mean there's is but man people saying that uh, Derek Anderson should be the starting quarterback over Cam Newton you are incredibly stupid that I can't believe I was reading that and it was from grown ass people you know on Facebook you can see what people actually look like unlike uh, on YouTube so because I never tried to like you know like tell anyone off on YouTube Especially because uh, it, it's rare that you see someone's uh, picture. Now I never know if it's like a you know a, a five or six year old kid or whatnot. Sometimes I'm hoping it is because some of the stupid shit that I read. But uh, you know, and, and people were saying that uh, oh we finally finally get a real quarterback in there and all this like what has Cam done to make people in Charlotte or Panthers fans hate him? I don't understand that at all. I mean, if it wasn't for Cam, this team would have been garbage the past couple of years. I mean, think about it. And as soon as he inherited him and Ron Rivera, a two and fourteen team, I think it was. Yeah, I think it's what we were in two thousand ten. Man, uh, how I don't understand how you can hate on Cam for that, and he's completely. Turn this. He's the face of this uh, franchise, and I mean, he's played. He's won so many games for this team. I can't believe how ignorant some people are. But hopefully, those are just bandwagon fans, just ignorant people. I know, you know real Panthers fans wouldn't say that. And not only just, you know, is it you know questionable for your fanhood? It's just stupid for anyone to say, even if you weren't a Panther fan. You're, I mean, you're just, you're stupid for saying that. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, but anyways, back to the, the uh, actual preview. Uh, I just wanted to get that out there because that really annoyed me when I was seeing that. And Derek Anderson played well, by the way. I mean, congratulations to him. I, if you saw my Bucks recap, I mean, I praised him. You know, so he, he basically was, you know, the key player in that game. Completely uh, had total control of the offense. Played great. But he's not Cam Newton. He's just not. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the the Lions uh, definitely have our uh, our secondary will be tested in this game by uh, Megatron, of course. You know the best, arguably the the greatest receiver. I don't think he's a I don't think he's the greatest receiver of all time, but he might be the most freakish receiver of all time. Uh, I'm a fan of Megatron. I like the guy, and I like the Detroit Lions. My favorite player. My favorite football player of all time, college or pro, he didn't. He didn't play for the Carolina Panthers. He played for the Detroit Lions, and it was Barry Sanders. My favorite player of all time. I got nothing. I got no hate for the Lions. I uh, if if I wasn't a Panthers fan, I probably would be a Detroit Lions fan. Uh, probably mainly because of Barry Sanders. I'm kind of surprised that I didn't become. A Lions fan when I was growing up because of Barry Sanders. I mean, I became a Bulls fan 
solely because of uh, how much I love Michael Jordan. I was kind of surprised the same thing didn't happen because of uh, uh, Barry Sanders. I don't have a, a, a any pro teams where I live, so you know I don't like all. I don't like a specific city and like all the pro teams of that city. So I, was, you know, when I was growing up, I picked the teams that I liked and uh, went with it, stuck with it ever since. But uh, uh, Matt Stafford, uh, I'm, I'm guessing played pretty well against the Giants last night. Um, I didn't see the stats or anything, but um, Reggie Bush. They, I mean, they got they got weapons on offense. Their defense, they got a good defensive line. Uh, we all don't know. I guess there's probably some Lions fans watching this. I, uh, <clears throat> I'm a fan of Nick Fairley's as well. I'm an Auburn fan, so I uh, really like Nick Fairley. I'm not sure how... I wouldn't really call him a bust, but he. I don't think he's really lived up to, uh, you know, I think what they thought he was going to be. But uh, I think the guy could stand to lose a little bit of weight. I mean... It's like he's just uh, gained a lot of weight since he left Auburn, and he wasn't uh, he wasn't a uh, skinny guy when he was at Auburn. I'll tell you that. But uh, yeah, I think uh, our uh, receivers should be able to have a good game against that secondary, and uh, they have that one linebacker. I can't think of his name right now. Who's who's a uh, pretty good player. Um, yeah, who wins this game? I think this game is. Like sixty percent to like forty, like we should win it. I think it's like a sixty percent chance we win this game. I think a lot of games are like that. You know, I thought last week's game was a coin toss. Turn out we were, you know, we looked a lot like a the a lot better team than the Bucks, and uh, I kind of see uh, this game being uh, a tougher game. You know, we we were on need cam to win this game and needing to play well. I think good we're playing in uh, Make of America Stadium first home game uh, so that's on our side um, you know is this going to be a good game I really you know they're a uh, good offense against uh, our defense we're really going to have to play well in the secondary uh, I guess we'll put uh, Antoine Kaysen on uh, Megatron you know not a matchup that I'm really liking, but uh, you know, I think we need to. Uh, if you can get a hand on them, you know, within five yards. All right. I mean, I don't know how many of those uh, legal contact penalties we've seen. Absolutely insane. So if we can just, that's the thing that really annoys me that uh, our defense does sometimes with our play calling on defense. When you have a pass rush like we do in a defensive line and a front seven, why would you play so far off the receivers uh, in the secondary? I mean, think about it. That just allows them to get the ball out quick. So our take our pass rush out of the game. Why would you not get on them a little bit, get in their face, kind of try to knock the receivers off their rhythm a little bit, you know? You don't have to get like right up on them, but get get up there a little bit, you know, within a, a few yards of them. <clears throat> try to try to break some uh, contact with them, you know, before the the five yard uh, cutoff before you can't you know touch them anymore. Allow our, uh, def our defensive ends to wreak havoc, you know. Charles Johnson and uh, Greg Hart. I think Charles Johnson had a pretty good game on the Sunday. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm watching the uh, the. Uh, the shortcut things from the uh, Sunday ticket. This guy's got killed. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. Well, I don't understand why we don't do that. It doesn't make any sense to me why you'd play so far off and not let our defensive line, you know, give him a chance to to uh, wreck some havoc. But yeah, uh, I, they'll probably be extra conservative this game with Megatron and. Uh, I don't see. Uh, gotta watch out for Richie Bush coming out of the backfield on the screens and stuff. Our running, our uh, rush defense was brilliant against Tampa. Doug Martin couldn't get anything. Was, I think they probably got negative uh, yardage more than they got, you know, more than like 
a couple yards. Like, he didn't get any big runs whatsoever. <clears throat> then uh, that's what you expect. That's the way our defense was last year. Really good against the run. So uh, if we're going to lose this game, we're going to lose it uh, with Matt Stafford throwing the football. There's no doubt about it. And uh, Cam Newton sometimes struggles against good defensive lines. So watch out for Ndamukong Sue and those guys. Uh, mainly Ndamukong Sue is the main one you got to watch out for. Uh, but, yeah, I think... Not not a great defense, so I think we should have some success. I say we pull out this game 20, 27 to 23. Four-point game. Cam has a pretty good game. I look for Kellen Benjamin to score another touchdown this game. Watch for that. And Greg Olson. Those are going to be the two key guys here. And let's get the running game going a little bit, guys. I mean, the, the running game looked pretty pretty pathetic against Tampa. We won that game throwing the football. There's no question about it. You need to get that game, that running game going. We were going to go against a pretty good defensive line, especially against the run. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm looking for us to uh, get the running game going. we got to establish that running game, I think, if we're going to have uh, a... Uh, a decent amount of success on offense this year. Um, but I look for our defense to play well. Uh, Megatron will probably uh, get in the end zone once or twice this game, uh, but I think we can we can tolerate that, you know. But <clears throat> this is going to be a great game. I got Panthers taking it, 27 to. Did I say 24 or 23? I'll go 20. Yeah, 27-23. Panthers take this one. Uh, thanks, you guys, for watching. As always, keep pounding, and I'll catch you all later.